today's first reading from the prophet Daniel. This beautiful prayer acknowledging the sins of his people, the justice of God. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. That is, if you punish and condemn us, we can't complain because we are guilty. But yours, O Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. The prophet still holds out the hope of finding mercy because he knows God is merciful. And really that prayer of Daniel uh, certainly could be applied to the people of God, the church, in our own times and most likely in every time and in every age because we are sinners and we are weak. But our Lord does not deal with us according to our sins. That's what we say in the responsorial psalm. And Jesus exhorts us in the gospel to become like our Heavenly Father. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. So this is really important that we cultivate merciful thoughts towards others, that we do actions of mercy towards others, that we are forgiving and kind. Stop judging and you will not be judged. So that is... Stop making rash, negative judgments, right? We should, like all the saints teach, we should always um, side on mercy when possible, right? And, and judge in a positive light, you know, what we think a person's intentions are. I mean, these aren't known to us. Uh, so a lot of times they're not evident, or even their actions, right? We want to judge with... Uh, Always looking at the positive side of things when possible. And then, if it's just really evidently sinful and there was bad will, we still need to understand human weakness and human sinfulness, right? That is the reality in which we live. Forgive and you will be forgiven. See, there it is. When we're actually faced with something that we can't judge in a positive light, okay? We still need to be forgiving. Give, and gifts will be given to you. And then, actually doing kind actions, right? Doing kind actions, when prudent and when possible. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. That's what we have to look forward to on the day of judgment. So, let's prepare our hearts, really striving to become more and more like our Heavenly Father who is merciful.